chicken is on the, the oh. desk there for well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right. Mel. I realized I got hungry right as you were coming in and I have Perfect. bacon. Sorry, Perfect. Mel. Well, it goes with the morning, right? So, Melody Young is here, one bite at a time. We were talking earlier this morning, if you remember, about wow butter. This, um, with, as, as Steve called it, the peanut butter without peanuts. That's right, the That's peanut right. butter yeah. without peanuts. And so then we were like, we've, so we emailed our boss and said, can you go to the store and buy one for us? Because he's a nice guy, and we thought he would help us out. <laughs> and so uh, she brought, <laughs> so Melody brought this. it in by, we didn't even know. But what's great, so this is, this is it, and Sophie can try in a second. But what I love about it is a lot of the daycares and, and preschools are not allowed to have peanuts, right? And right. this is completely peanut free. But the other neat thing about this is if you peel away the label on this side, it comes with little stickers that you actually can put on your lunch saying, even though this is a peanut butter sandwich, there's no peanuts in it. So what's it made of, Mel? It's made from soy. That's what so it is. So soy is actually a really good really? protein substitute. Mm -hmm. So for, for lunches, snacks, Pretty much any kind of schools or preschools are nut free these exactly, days. Exactly, yeah. And so, and even if they're not, is you always want to just make sure. So this is a great alternative. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. It's, and the important thing is protein. With back to school and energy levels, it's really important to have protein as part of your kids' snacks and lunches. Right. It's often that's what's missing. People are bringing snacks mm -hmm. like you know the granola bars, different things like that. Mm -hmm. But you need the protein. So mm -hmm. the soy butter is great. Um, so w w what I've got is a whole bunch of different kinds of ideas. For okay. back to school. So you're gonna so try I've this. I've thrown the, the wow butter on. This is some this sort is, of very and healthy bread. This is bread. a great bread from Silver Hills. It's called the little big bread. What I like about it is actually thinner slices. So for kids, my kids love this for sandwiches. Oh yeah. Um, and also too, if you just don't want to eat that much in the morning or as a quick snack, this is pretty much like half a slice of bread, but you're still getting all mm -hmm. the goodness of the whole grains and the fiber. Little big That bread. one's yep. smaller than smaller. the other Silver Hills. And this, one, this is a newer one that they have that actually uses a different type of a grain. This um, ancient grain called, I don't even know how to pronounce it, it. Cor, cor, Corasan. But you can tell it's a softer bread because sometimes people with the higher fiber breads, they can be a bit dry. Right. Mm -hmm. This one actually is quite soft, so it's actually like a, a, high, a healthy white bread. Oh, okay. okay. So Good. these are great choices for breads. I also have other examples. For the kids, oftentimes it's the appearance. It's the portion size. So getting getting small. And it doesn't always have to be whole wheat. I, you know, I took the kids to the grocery store. Like, Mommy, we want these ones that are white bread. You know what? It's not going to kill them. Mm -hmm. and the more important thing is that they actually eat their lunches. Yeah. So you need the variety. So if they have white bread, not a big deal, but have a variety of the whole grains. So yeah. we've got the grains. We've also got, in terms of portions of protein, you've got your che cut up cheese slices. Now, if you get a portion, let's say, of a fruit like this, it, you know, which is going to be more appealing, something cut up or a whole fruit? You know what's funny? I still cut up my fruit. Yeah, me really? too. Yeah, I, I I'll eat it if it's a whole. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that Chances appetizing, and it it's less. messy. I mean, the thing is, making lunch, getting kids stuff ready, is is truly a labor of love. Mm -hmm. yeah. It takes time. I mean, well, I was dreading huge. back to school just with you know, making lunches. But you know what? The time is worth the investment. Talk about the 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 vegetables. Because our yeah. daughter is a big fan of of just raw vegetables. Right. She loves them, and right. so and but she likes them. She only eat them if she has a little dip with them. Perfect. Yeah. Great dip. Dip made it. Made it with yogurt, the Greek style yogurt, hummus. Some kids too find that the raw vegetables are too hard. What I did with these, I actually just microwave them for a minute or so, so it just takes the crunch. Mm -hmm. um, so, so some kids just don't like that really hard texture. Again, kids eat with texture and taste. So again, portion sizes here, you've got some edamame, um, basically just buy them frozen and ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, toothpicks to make it easy to, to use the foods. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually a new product that I've discovered, these super squeezies, that if you're lactose intolerant or just don't like milk, this. then this is actually made from uh, soy. And they're great. It's actually and more like a frozen pudding. Steve loves these. So do they taste different from... No, I mean, there's soy, obviously, but do they... they, they you can't even tell no, that there's, tell that there's that soy, because there's this, yeah. this phobia of soy. Oh, it's tofu. I don't want to eat it. But it's great for a quick snack. Keep them frozen. Um, other things, too, in terms of calcium, really important to get milk into the into the day. A lot of times, people aren't bring, packing milk because of the refrigeration. Um, President's Choice has these new ultra-high temperature uh, milks that don't oh. need to be refrigerated. Interesting. And they wow. taste great. Okay, so, so let's try the soy butter. The, you know what? I already had a bite, and it's really good. I know it's, it's yummy. It tastes like peanut butter. I, yep. I, so bring back wow. the peanut butter sandwiches, right? Yeah. There so you go. use some higher fiber bread. Put it on a bagel. Put it on crackers. Um, it, it's a great snack all around. It's amazing. All right, good stuff. So. All right, if you want some more details, uh, of course you can uh, email us. Now you have some giveaways as well. I do. I've got some from Sunrise from. Um, 
gift packs, uh, okay. lunch bags, and we've mm -hmm. also got one from BC Dairy Association. And Silver Hills is going to send a, a few viewers uh, a bunch of bread. Okay, oh, good. So excellent. email us right now, morningnews at globaltv.com, and put in wow. Melody. <laughs> 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 and uh, you could be a winner, and we'll give those prizes away after the show. So thanks very much. Thanks. Nice Remember, to see you. Remember, it's a labor of love. Yes. So when you're cursing and making lunches, truly it's an investment in your child's health down the road. It's important. It's important. All right, Kaylin. Thank you very much. Uh, busy morning.